we're gonna speak about um love okay the right way mm -hmm. all right because a lot of people some people use the use the term love loosely and some people can can use the word love based on their own understanding of love so I'm gonna ask everybody in here what is love like who, who could based on your own understanding of what love is You may see yourself but just loving the person throughout no matter what. Loving the person throughout, okay. I think love is a principle not limited to emotion. A lot of us limited to the emotional aspect, but it's also a principle, it's a give and take principle mm -hmm. that should be applied at all times despite the uh, situation. That's a good one. Uh, a, pr a good principle, like uh, you know, like you said, love and take. A love and take principle, right? Uh, it's not. It's not like she just says. Not just the emotional aspect of it. Go ahead. So love is like to me, you know, it's like the deepest form of caring. You know, like the um, you know the Most High loved the Israelites, but He still like He made that hand heavy. Mm. It was time to make it heavy because the whole thing is that if there wasn't that balance, He wouldn't really be loving. If we had just kept them wilding out, we kept wilding out and not showing. Repercussions, not saying, "Yeah, look, this is what's gonna happen to you. This is how I'm gonna lay the hand on you." Mm -hmm. So sometimes, love is it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what I think it is. It's like the overall caring. I think some people just look at it as romance, and you know, it's about being all soft. But when you really love someone, you keep it a hundred percent all the way with them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what love is—the deepest form of caring. You know, caring, tough. All mm -hmm. right. Anybody else? Well. I think love is a um, one of the emotions that you have to show. You definitely have to show through action. Because yeah. if you just tell right. somebody that you love them mm -hmm. and not do anything behind it, it doesn't right. mean anything. Right. I definitely right. believe that mm -hmm. when you love something, you take diligence and time mm -hmm. and caring and mm -hmm. care to whatever you love. Like let's say I love playing basketball. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my time to learn how to play it, Come learn on. how to make a Come shot. On. Mm -hmm. If I love myself, I'm gonna make sure I'm always clean. Right. I'm always well dressed. I'm brushing my teeth. Make sure I look nice. And if you love your wife or anybody around you, make sure everything is right with them. And to right. land me back off of Moses, like sometimes people would take love in a different way. Like let's say you take the time and diligence to make sure your child goes to school and they're straying away. If you mm -hmm. yell at them and talk to them sternly, they will be like, wow, he doesn't love them. The tough right. love right. But aspect of it. That's your diligence and your right. care to mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. You right. care about them and mm -hmm. you diligently watch them and make sure they're going in the right path. Okay. Right. <clears throat> All right, so let's 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 go into the Webster's Dictionary to see what's what's the what's the world's definition on love <laughs> right because because everybody has the perception as well I should say this Hollywood in in media mm -hmm. they have their perception on what love should be God. what they put in their movies mm -hmm. that's what people generally think in their minds okay that's love right there mm -hmm. all right what they see in movies and but let's see is it does that actually correspond with the scriptures mm. you understand no one is we're not, we're not sitting here saying that you can't have that kind of love that you see in the movies mm -hmm. if you have the money for it go ahead knock yourself out <laughs> but if you if, if your marriage is based on holding each other down right. and 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 um worrying about the next meal and making sure the household is good everything else comes after well, like oh, so what they show in the movies is like the the icing, the icing. Like, like the, yeah, the, right. the stuff after that's the luxury, the hard work. That's right? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Cause mm -hmm. it's like, cause you know how the most I always says, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. If you love me, you keep my commandments. And we're like, damn man, if we don't do this, this is what's gonna happen to us. Mm -hmm. And it's like sometimes you get lazy, like I'm not gonna do this, and you like you're not surprised what happens to you, like damn, I should have done that. Exactly. Before. So <laughs> it's funny that we all sitting here, we were saying that. But let's see if we can get the understanding. Let's see if we can understand more about this word love. Because, like I said, a lot of people throw around, throw around the word love for no reason. I, me, I don't just say the word for no reason. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I, I, that's, I'm just I'm just built like that. I don't just come out and just say I love you like. Love is a, love is a feeling, right? Yeah. yeah. Love is a feeling and is is a form of an emotion, right? Mm-hmm. Right. And it's also what, like you said, an action. It's an action. Mm-hmm. So let's let's look at. We're going we're going to read two definitions on the word love, according to the Webster's dictionary, and we're going to go into the scriptures. So the first, you can read the first line, and then after that, you can jump. You can jump down to this paragraph right here. Go ahead. This is Latin. No, you don't have to read. Just read. Yeah, this, yeah. I guess they got Latin. It's weird. They got Latin terms. It says, um, love is the sense. The sense is probably to be prompt, to be free, to be willing, from leaning, advancing, or drawing forward. So, see, that was that was the first. De- that's the first definition of what love can mean, mm-hmm. right? It's willing. It's free. You don't have to pay for love. Some people pay for love. <laughs> like, like you know what I'm saying? Some people pay for love. Um, it's advancing or it's drawing forward, like trying to get close to somebody. Now, let's look at this definition right here. Same dictionary. Because they're from the top, yeah. It says, an affection of the mind. It says, in an in a affection of, of the mind. What? Excited by beauty and worth of any kind. Or by the qualities of an object which communicate pleasure. So we see that's the physical a- aspect of what love is. That's the physical. So when they're saying that it's 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 an affection on the mind when that excites that sparks excitement in the mind. Mm-hmm. So people some, some people would be like, oh, it was like love at first sight. Yeah. That's because they was using their eyes to say, okay, I love this person. Mm-hmm. So, so to them, love sparks an, a, an emotion or a, a level of excitement in someone's mind. So anybody could, that's why anybody could use the word love, because that's your level of excitement for that mm-hmm. thing, that yeah. person, mm-hmm. or that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, that object. Continue reading. See, watch. It says, um, by the qualities. Wait, which one? I was oh. right here. Oh, go ahead. So it says, by the qualities of an object which communicate pleasure. See, which communicate pleasure. Sensual or intellectual. So somebody somebody could be in love with somebody sensually because how they feel, like mm-hmm. romantically, mm-hmm. or intellectually, you could be in love with someone's mind. Right. That person can carry a conversation with you. Right. Or that person is able to understand you on a intellectual level right, yeah. not just because I look a certain way mm-hmm. right so you can love somebody based on like like they say um like, like, like I love to speak to that person I love to right. speak to that person or you could like you say like 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 how somebody may not be as physically attracted to somebody but they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder uh-huh. you could find something be- beautiful in that person based on the way they, the way they carry themselves that's a yeah. form of love right uh-huh. good it says it is opposed to hatred. It is opposed to hatred. So if you're in love, that means you have no hatred. We we know that already. Well, go right. ahead. Love between the sexes. Is so see, love is supposed right. to be between the sexes, meaning yeah. male, yeah. male and female. Yeah. So anything outside of male and female is 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 is, 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 a, is a, something else. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. something else. Right. It's not. I wouldn't say it's it's, a, it's, a, it's fornication. Right. It's something else. It's a mental yeah. disorder up here. Right. Cunt. Disconnect. Mental disconnect, yeah. like the brother would say. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Love between the sexes is a compound affection mm-hmm. consisting of esteem, benevolence, and animal desire. Mm-hmm. That that's that's if you go into that freak nature now. That that's that's a that but <laughs> that's that, that's what we were saying. So love could be, like you could like that's why I said when people use the word love loosely. Because you could be, you could feel a lustful desire for somebody, but that's in, that in your mind you you're equating that to love because why? That triggers an emotion within your in your mind that 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 sends off an excitement like oh I see the oh that's 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 what that's how they classifying love, right? Go ahead. Love is excited by pleasing qualities of any kind. See, love is love is excited by pleasing qualities. So. I could I could look at this cup and be like yo I love this cup because I like the way it looks, mm-hmm. and every time I see this cup I I want the cup because it's something in my mind is making me drawn to this cup. So that's a, like that's a that's a that's a level of love there. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Love is excited by pleasing qualities of any kind, 
as by kindness, mm -hmm. benevolence, charity, charity, mm -hmm. and by the qualities which render social intercourse agreeable. See, mm -hmm. social intercourse, not just physical intercourse. Agreed. So you got to be able to agree with the person that you're in love with. Or the thing that you love with it has to agree with your lifestyle or agree with what you understand love is you can't you can't be especially when it comes to two people you can't say I'm in love with this person and the person doesn't feel the same way about you then it wouldn't be considered really agreeable love it's just you're you would be considered as a stalker <laughs> you understand like like you are so in love with a person but they don't feel the same way about you, so you gotta check that love now. Uh -huh. Go ahead. In the latter case, love is ardent friendship, mm -hmm. or a strong attachment springing from goodwill and esteem, and the pleasure derived from the company, civi civilities, and kindness of others. So there it goes. That's the world's definition for love, the word love. Does anybody agree with any of those definitions here? There's a couple, there's a couple, a couple things, yeah. Some things I don't agree with because they're so, how do I put it? They're so broad. They're so broad and so vague and the, the term is used so loosely. Yeah. Like That's just because right. something is desirable to me and I like the way it looks does not necessarily mean I'm in love with it. There's an attraction to it. Mm -hmm. But, you but according, to, according to them, according to them love, it, love is, is, a, is a level of excitement. When, when right, I look at yeah, it, it's a principle and it's an emotional connection, right? Mm -hmm. How can you have an emotional connection to a thing? That, but it's, that's possible. Yeah, that's like, look, 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 look at it like this. <laughs> look at it like this. Mm -hmm. You have somebody who just bought a car right, and they're yeah. always washing it. Con. They always say, look at my car. They always... Obsession? That's, yeah. that's, yeah. A, that's, a, that's a, to, to them... That's a level of love. Oh, that's right. right. And like that's why they call it my baby or she's. Yeah, they or they name it. Yeah, they name it. Yeah. Because in their head, that's a that's a form of love to them. Right. But we're gonna. But that's why we That's why we need the scriptures to help us understand what love is. Because huh. that's what I'm saying. We can't just be throwing the word around loosely. Right. Right. We could we could listen to the world's definition on based on what love is supposed to be and what we see on TV. What love is supposed to be based on TV and movies. But what the scriptures say love is. Can we still uh, can we still use the world's term termination um terminology for love and use the scriptures at the same time? No, no really. And no. be accurate? No. no. Would, would our love be accurate if we don't measure it to these scriptures? No. Mm -hmm. So now that's this. So now we have to go into the scriptures to see if the love that we've been taught in this world is the same love mm -hmm. that the Most High want us to to show one another and to show Him. And like I said, no one said it's not okay mm -hmm. to have that level of excitement when you see something or you want to do something with somebody. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's fine. Or be agreeable. But, right. yeah, or to be agreeable. But to say that's what love is, yeah, right. so we right. have to check that now. Mm -hmm. Love is not just based on what you feel is, a, is, is exciting to you. Right, that's true. Right. We're going to go into the scriptures. In my head, right now, I'm singing the Kirk Franklin song. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I have it in my head too. Yeah, this is so this song, I can't even lie. Alright. Oh yeah, the song, song is like the word that comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but people that, that. really know what it really means to love somebody. Yeah. yeah. I mean that that that. Yeah, that's that's it, it got it got some kind of truth to it, but let's go let's go into um let's go into Deuteronomy. Let let's let's we're gonna go into the actions of love. Here's the action. Cause, cause with love comes an action, right? Right? It's not just saying, it's not just saying, oh, I love that, that person, or I love that, 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 X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Love, when you have a love for something, it, 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 it sparks an action. You have to do something right. to show that love, right? So we're going to, uh, we're going to Deuteronomy 30, and take it at verse 16, right? Deuteronomy 30 and 16. Let's get some understanding of on love. Right. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 16 mm -hmm. in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it but if thine heart turn away so that thou wilt not hear 
but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. Verse 18, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whither thou, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. All right, so now let's examine this. Let's look at, let's go back to verse 16 again. Mm -hmm. What's the first line in verse 16? And that I command thee. It says, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy power, right? right? So, if the children of Israel was commanded to love the Most High, that means they had to what? That means they had to learn to love the Most High. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't know anything about him. When they, when, they, when they came out of Egypt, there was nothing for them to see to be like, okay, it doesn't, all right, like, like we just read the physical excitement to want to love the most high he had to teach them how to love him by doing what we're going to learn that mm -hmm. that's why he that's why that's why he if if love if the love that we were supposed to have for the most high was natural he didn't he wouldn't have to have commanded us mm -hmm. but the fact that he's commanding us to love him that means we have a choice whether to love him or not mm -hmm. so that love the love that we have to learn first is what the action uh -huh. he gave us the command to love him right so now what we have to do? We have to train ourselves to love him. And and how do we do that? We're gonna learn that. Right? Let's go to first John chapter five and three. So first we've seen the command for love. So now we, we now since we were commanded to love him, now it comes with an action. There's an action that needs to take place. First John five and three, all right? And it's deep when you think about it, because the Most High was the Most High loved us first, and he and he was constantly trying to get us to love him, fighting for his love, fighting us to to love him, right? Because they, it, because it wasn't the Most High wasn't something that you could just see. Like he wanted he wanted them to really search for him and really love him, and they, and and this is how he was um, trying to get them to do that. First John five and three. 1 John chapter 5 verse 3 Go ahead For this is the love of the Most High For so this is the love of So he's commanding us to love him So now how can we love this guy How can we learn to love this power right here Because we didn't just love him off the back So that means we had to learn to love him So read it again For this is the love of the Most High This is the love of the Most High that we what That we keep his commandments That we keep his commandments Go ahead and his commandments are not grievous. And his, and his commandments are not grievous. Some people would say, "Well, he's he's the he's he, he's the creator, right? He do what he want, right? So why he can't just make us love him?" No. All right. Nah. We had to learn to love him. Mm -hmm. We had. He wanted to. He wanted to see if we was willing to love him. Right. It's a two-way thing. Exactly. Like 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 we will say at like we will use, I'll use an example for this day and age. Mm -hmm. Like you like a young man would love a, would love would love a, a young lady right he'll express that love to her but then what if he's the only one expressing love how is he gonna feel if she's not expressing the same love back he's gonna be hurt and he's not gonna want to love you anymore mm -hmm. he's gonna he's gonna say all right you know what this is taking too much out of me mm -hmm. so if we could understand that on this plane as humans why can't we put ourselves in the most high shoes and, and see how he feels but the thing is with the thing that's different with him is his love is unconditional right he'll he'll punish us he'll have the tough love aspect with us right mm -hmm. but we but then we still in turn have to turn to him and and do what first john 5 and 3 said mm -hmm. that's that's the love of the most high he's commanding us to love him so in order for us to really love him we got to keep his what mm -hmm. right let's go to galatians 5. Galatians 5 and start at verse 13. Go ahead. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. Mm -hmm. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. So he said that we have been called to to liberty meaning we have the liberty to do a lot of things that we want to do within the parameters of keeping the law but we said he said not don't use that that liberty just for the flesh like just to 
just to live out your fleshly lust. Mm -hmm. But he said, use love to what? Serve. To serve one another. So here's a, that's another action. That's another action for love. Mm -hmm. Once you learn how to love somebody, that love comes with doing what? Service. To learn to, you got to serve one another, right? So it goes back to what I was saying. If a young man or a young woman loves a young man or loves 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 another uh, woman, you understand, he's gonna show her that love by service. But if he's not getting it in return, like you said, like you said, it's a principle of give and take. If it's only one way, right? Only service is being done one way. Then where's the love in that? It's gonna die out. So there gotta be a, it gotta be a two way. And another thing too is brothers and sisters gotta learn when 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 um when the other party is showing love it may not be to your understanding of what you think love is or what you see love is but the the uh you know the things that the other party does which is considered love mm -hmm. because uh, because a man or a woman would not do certain things for another person or another man or woman if they did not love that person mm -hmm. you understand so just because you're not receiving the love that you feel that you deserve, right, right. you understand, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're not being loved. Mm -hmm. right. So there's so there's times where people mis mis um misunderstand mm -hmm. love because they're not feeling a certain way. Right. Mm -hmm. But the actions of love is actually really there. So we have to actually we have to learn to recognize that because this world has trained us to be emotional, mm -hmm. men and women, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. not just women, men too. If if a man feel like he's not he's not he's not um he's not he's not giving uh, he's not receiving a, a certain level of attention he go he tries to find it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we have to understand when the actions of love is present, mm -hmm. not just the feeling of love or the excitement of love is there. The actions of love is still there. Right. We have to understand that. So, for like he said in verse um thirteen verse thirteen, we have to um use our liberty to love one another and service to one another go ahead verse 14 14 for all the law is fulfilled in one word see for all the law is fulfilled in one word what mm -hmm. even in this mm -hmm. thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself mm -hmm. you see there it goes so love once you once you have that love and you and you're doing the services of love mm -hmm. right then you're fulfilling the whole law Basically, you're not gonna use, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna transgress any of the laws with your neighbor or against your neighbor because you have that love that you want to help or you want to be there to, for that person to, you know, to show the actions of love, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get, let's get um, Ephesians, Ephesians five verse two, and this is this is not gonna be really long because everybody everybody has a basic understanding of what love is I hope I hope nobody is sitting here according to the scriptures yeah you know with a different perception I mean if you do have a different perception of, of love that's okay but we have to still we you can still keep that perception of love but fine tune it with the scriptures and understanding that love is just more than saying it it's an action. It's more than just um, you know, a physical or, or, or emotional feeling. It's there's physical aspects to love as well too. So I said we're going to Ephesians chapter five. Uh, take it at. Let's take it at verse one. Ephesians five verse one. Ephesians chapter five verse one. Go ahead. Be ye therefore followers of the Most High as their children and walk in love as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to the most high for a sweet smelling savor so in this in that verse what was Christ's example of love sacrifice. a sacrifice so that's a form of what love, love because you're doing something for somebody else mm -hmm. so love is actually doing stuff or doing something that you wouldn't do for yourself or somebody else right go ahead verse 3 but fornication 
and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you, as becometh saints. Go ahead. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. You see that? So giving of thanks is, is also a form of love too. So we got to be, be careful to have those other attributes present when we're fulfilling the duties of love, right? Um, let's go to I know I'm just throwing out a lot of scriptures But everybody is, is following along right uh, First John Going back to First John 4 And take it at verse 7 1 John chapter 4 verse 7 Beloved, let us love one another For love is of the Most High And everyone that loveth is born of the Most High And knoweth the Most High Verse 8 He that loveth not, he that loveth not knoweth not the Most High For the Most High is love See that? So there's no way anybody could say I know the Most High or I know God And don't have any love for someone else because he is love like you understand if you understand what that is go ahead verse 9 in this verse 9 in this was manifested the love of the most high toward us because that the most high sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him and the world, and now we see what did the most high do for us to show that he that 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 he loved us what did he do Send his, his only begotten Right So the Most High sh showed us Numerous actions of love First by taking us out of Egypt Feeding us in the wilderness Actions Making sure our clothes We was in the wilderness 40 years 40, 40 years Our clothes Yeah you know what I'm saying our yeah, Even before Egypt He showed his love But these are all those things That the Most High was showing us Like yo I'm doing this because I love you guys so now we have to use these examples when, we, when it comes to loving each other, loving our wives, loving our children. Mm -hmm. love, is, love, love is is a service. Right, kind. It's Come not on, just an emotion. The greatest love, that's why Christ said, no greater love than this, than a man to lay down his life for a friend. Brother, yeah, friend. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What was that? Verse, not, verse 10. Yep, verse go ahead. 10. Mm -hmm. Herein is love. Not that we love the Most High, but that wait, He loved wait, wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, you left that for verse six. Nine. I left nine. That we might live through Him. That was the last word I said. In verse nine. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Unless you want me to read nine again. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Verse ten. Herein is love. Not that we love the Most High, but that He loved us. You see that? Mm -hmm. And sent His Son to be the pro to be the appropriation. Yeah, mm -hmm. to be the proper propitiation for our sins. You see that? So that's what we have to understand. Mm -hmm. Right? That he loved us first before we even understood what love is. So if we if we're gonna understand how to love each other, we have to find it through him. Right. And his, his commandment was to love him. And by loving him, we automatically gonna have that spirit of love. Right. To do what? Service for one another, because that's all he did for us. Right. Was help us throughout the way. So if he if we understand what he did for us, that means we will understand like you know what I will, I'm no better than that next person right there. Mm -hmm. That could be me right there. Mm -hmm. right. Let me do this because I understand that could be me. Or mm -hmm. when the Most High was looking at me, he didn't look at me based on my physical appearance right. or yeah. you know what I'm saying or my intellect. He did it because he knew that I'm preserving something that's mine. Uh -huh. I love this person, so let me help. Right? Where we at? Eleven. Go ahead. Verse eleven, beloved. If the Most High so loved us, we mm -hmm. ought also to love one another. See, there it goes. If the Most High so loved us, God. we might as well love each other. Look, look to bring it home with verse 12. Verse 12. No man hath seen the Most High at any time. Mm -hmm. No man hath seen the Most High at any time. If we love one another, the Most High dwelleth in us, mm -hmm. and his love is perfected in us. Mm -hmm. You see that? 
Uh -huh. He said, no man have loved the most, uh, have seen the most high at any time. So basically saying like, how can you say you love the most high and you never even seen him? Right. But those who are amongst you, you see every day, you can't even love that person. Love them, right, mm -hmm. exactly. Right. So we got to understand that as well too. Mm -hmm. Can't say you love the most high, you never even seen the most high. But the person, the, the people who's around you, you can't even love them. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, I'm talking about brothers and sisters in the faith. Mm -hmm. All right, right. In the body, I'm not saying I'm not saying you can't have love for for our people who's out there who don't know any better. Yeah, you can. You understand? But you're not. I mean, I'm saying you got. You just gotta. You gotta discern. You gotta use it wisely. I'm saying it says it says um it says in the in the book of Proverbs, correct the fool and he'll hate you, but correct the wise man and he'll what he'll love you. Right. Come on. Um. Another scripture. I'm just throwing out all the love scriptures there. And, but everybody's on track though, right? Everybody yeah. understand? Everybody's mm -hmm. everybody's getting like a, a little bit clearer understanding of love? Or how many people in here already understood these these um functions of love? Or did, and, did anybody in here have a different perception of love? Or is this clarifying it for everybody? Clarifying. It's clarifying stuff? Alright, so we in um let's go to still in first John. Go to the um third chapter. Verse start at verse eleven. Take out at verse eleven. First John chapter three verse eleven. Mm -hmm. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Mm -hmm. Verse twelve. Not as Cain, who was at that who was of the wicked one, and slew his brother. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We had heard that from the beginning that we should love one one another. So we can't use an example of Cain who killed his own brother mm -hmm. that means there's no love in you if you could kill your own family member right. there's no love in you the most high is not even in you if you could do that right right go ahead and slew his brother mm -hmm. and wherefore slew he him mm -hmm. because his own works were evil so so he's asked so Paul is saying why why did he even why he killed him because of his own works now you're gonna see it's because he he couldn't find peace within himself that's why that hate came in. So when you see people exercising hate, that's because there's some, they're dealing with something within themselves. Read that. Read that again. Watch. Read that again. That's why. He, that's verse why he, twelve. Read verse twelve again. Now that is Cain, who was of that wicked one, mm -hmm. and slew his brother. See, now he's gonna ask a question. Go ahead. And wherefore slew he him? So that's so he's basically saying like, why did it? So why did Cain actually kill his brother? What? Because his own works were evil. Because his own works were evil, go ahead. And his brother's righteousness. And his brother's righteousness. So sinners are always going to hate the righteous. So this, this, this is why the Most High is always commanding us to keep his commandments. So that, so that way that spirit of hate can't come in. The spirit of hate will come in if you're not keeping his commandments. Mm -hmm. Because he is love. So if the Most High is love and we're keeping his commandments... We will always remain in love, mm -hmm. but if the it, but if we're not keeping his commandments, spirit of what comes in, hate, hate and we yeah. see that example of Cain. Mm -hmm. So if we're gonna exhibit love all the time, it's only by keeping the Most High's commandments is gonna keep us in love mm -hmm. with one another, with our spouses, with our children, and with with all creation. Mm -hmm. We have we have compassion on 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 nature and. And the, and the creations of the Most High, because that love that He had, that He had in Him, is in us. That's why Christ said, "If you abide in Me, and I in you, then you also be in the Father." Right. <laughs> see how all that really makes. See how it's making sense. Mm -hmm. uh, when he was at fourteen, go ahead. No, verse thirteen. Verse thirteen. 13. Go ahead. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. See that? See that? Marvel not, brethren, if the world hate you. Why the world hating you? Because they're not in the Father. Right. They're not keeping the commandments. Right. They're, not, they're not living righteously. Mm -hmm. So when, when you see somebody coming up to you hatefully mm -hmm. and saying, saying foolishness about you or just, 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 just showing you that they're mad at you for, or hate you for something, mm -hmm. you got to be mindful. You got to already understand, like, look, this person don't know any better. Mm -hmm. They don't know the most high. They're not keeping the commandments. So they hate. They're not, they don't really hate me. They hate my works. They hate my righteousness. No, just the other, uh, just the other day I was telling, I was telling, um, telling the brothers, <laughs> you know, this dude was just cursing me out, yeah. cursing me, 
You understand? Because of someone that some because like I'm doing my job, so but he's uh, he don't understand that. But he's just cursing me, and I'm just and in the back of me, I'm like I, I could I could I could curse this old man out. You saying he's an old man? Like I'm talking about like pushing 70, 80. And when I see him, I'm like, I, I recognize it quick. I'm like, all right, he don't know any better. You understand? So I, I, I just ignored him. Looked at him. Ignored him. Mm-hmm. Why am I going to push hate with him? Right. I don't hate him. I don't know him to hate him. Right. That's true. Exactly. And that even makes him more mad when you ignore him. That's true. Because he just kept going. <laughs> is that spi- and is that and that's how you know the spirit of hate was in that old man, that very old man. He's a very old man. Because he was trying to push it on you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. I'm like, yo, if I just blow on this guy, he's gonna fall apart. Right. If I just go, he's gonna fall. But that, but that's going to show me that's how that's how strong hate is. Wow. It affects everyone. It don't matter how old you are. It affects you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> read, read verse thirteen again. Thirteen. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life, Mm -hmm. because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. There it goes. So we have passed from death to life because of the love that we have. You understand? So if, if we continue not, if we don't walk in that love with one another, we're actually walking in a spirit of death. And then nothing good could come from you. Right? Um, jump down to verse 18. Verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Read that again. 18. Yeah, same chapter, verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. See that? So he said he's encouraging us not to just love in 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 word mm-hmm. or in tongue. But what? In your actions. Indeed. Indeed. In truth. In truth. Yeah. Because all we were shown was actions of love. By who? Him. The most high. He didn't just say, Okay, I love you guys and didn't do anything for us. You understand? <laughs> right. He didn't do that to us. Mm-hmm. He seen. He seen. He's like. He came and was like. I see my people crying in Egypt, so I come to deliver them. Mm-hmm. Everything that we needed, he did the actions for love. So now, what good? It, what good it would be for us to not live like that? Come. To just say we love a person and don't sh- do the actions of the love. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So we gotta understand that love is. Deeper than just having a physical emotion. No one is no one saying that you can't have that level of excitement when you see a person or a thing or whatever the case is. No one said you can't do that. That's normal because that's a feeling. Mm-hmm. We, we, sometimes we feel joy when we see somebody, or you know, what I'm saying we feel whatever the case is. But to say to to not operate with the actions of love, that's mm-hmm. that's not what love is. To be complete in love is to show indeed. Don't just say it. Like they say it like we, like we always heard growing up. Don't just don't just talk about it, be about it. Huh. Right? So how many of us is gonna start loving each other indeed, not in just word? Come on, come on. How many of us is gonna walk like that? I mean I <laughs> I mean, uh, everybody should be walking like that right now. If you if you wasn't, hopefully this 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 lesson or these these um these scriptures shows that love is just not, is not just what you say. Mm-hmm. It's it's what you're doing after you say it. Right. It's not just a level of it's not just excitement. Mm-hmm. You understand? People put their lives on the line on on their life for people. Mm-hmm. People you know take the time out to help people. That's love. Especially us in here. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's how we gotta move. Mm-hmm. Any questions? Any anybody? Any questions? Let me save this thing before.